All right. The Barnes family, the Venus family, or the big Venus family. That's us. That's us. Oh, yes. I did open the Discord up to Twitch folk. If y'all haven't joined it already, come join. We do have fun over there. We sure do have fun. I kind of forget where we left off in this game, if I'm being totally honest, totally vulnerable. We have money. Oh, um, Frank is in the Mafia. He attached our computer to the Mafia somehow. Something along those lines. We're supposed to get our a gun <laughs> because our friend can't get a gun because he's a felon, right? That's what it is. That's what was happening. Seduce your husband. Um, <laughs> that's optional for a reason. We're not going to be doing that. Eric Larson's story. Search for Eric Ars Larson online. Okay, we can do that. Consult your therapist. Boo. All right, yeah, we have to get a gun and we can Google Eric Larson. Okay. Okay. This Discord is really 50% Ashley support and 50% Jimothy hate. <laughs> No, we love Mr. Beast. We love him so much. He's my favorite. Oh yeah, also we took down some lesbians last episode. You know, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> but let's, let's do some Googling. We're internet detectives. Internet detectives. All right. Eric Larson. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh, we need a password. Well, I don't have that. Nebraska High School. Okay, so he played football? Whatever that means. Whatever any of this means. Cat show. Oh my gosh, he's a cat guy. I kind of love that. Adult Cat's top prize winner, Dingbat Cocoonus. Semi long hair panther, Eric Larson. Okay, he's a cat guy. I kind of respect a cat guy, to be honest. Because I feel like if a guy hates cats, he hates women. You know? But he likes cats. That's a, that's a good start. Hello, cat people. Also, I love this um, Warriors fan fiction MS Paint art we have going on over here. I really do appreciate that. Oh, did we win the cooking competition? I didn't even notice that. I don't think we entered anything. I think we lost. Because I tried to cook raw chicken noodle soup and I don't think... I think I fed it to the family. Oh, the cat's name? Okay. I was like, I think I got distracted. It looks, it looks like Eric's homepage has a password on it. You can probably try guessing what it is. See if you can't figure out what Eric... Oh, it's a puzzle. Is it Panther? Because he had a cat. Please tell me the FBI has a little bit more intricate of a password system than this. Tell me it's not that. Okay, we're in. <laughs> and we're in. Uh, I have not figured out how I'm going to do the banana meatloaf stream, so it's probably going to be next week. Because uh, I was... My friend who moved away after college, I was with her this weekend and we had a grand old time, but I surely did not have enough time to <laughs> think about my banana meatloaf stream. So I apologized. It will, it will be next week. Yeah. Also, this stream is sponsored by Sears, Chrysler Pacifica, uh, Slim Fest Optima. I think we should make the banana meatloaf in an easy bake oven. Do you value my life at all? <laughs> Not Lizzie, do you care if I live or die? Why are you why are you putting these ideas out there? <laughs> I, that's not what I agreed to. I don't think so. Uh, 
Hello, friends and family. As most of you know, I've been on an assignment in a small town working on an interesting embezzlement case. You know how FBI agents are. Famously, they're great bloggers. <laughs> I am enjoying myself, and even though I'm working a lot of hours, the setting is idyllic, and the people around here for the most part seem pretty nice. I am still being consulted from time to time on the seemingly never-ending Corsetti case. I seriously wonder if that case will ever end. It's amazing how a lot of money and good lawyers can insulate you from having to obey the law. On the personal front, I have some exciting news. I think I have located an old friend, but I am still in the investigative process. For those of you who knew me back in Nebraska, you'll want to hear the story straight from the horse's mouth, so call me on my private line if you want the scoop. Do FBI agents blog like this? I really hope so. Family news, the parents are still plucking along. My father continues his fishing and woodworking and really seems to be enjoying his retirement. My mother has recently started volunteering at the Wood River Library. I'm cautiously optimistic that one of these days she'll learn how to actually use a computer. Ha ha ha. Panther and my other cat, Boomer, <laughs> okay, Boomer, are also vacationing at my parents while I'm out on assignment. If you are in the neighborhood, please drop in and say hello to them and make sure they're being fed. You all know how much my dad hates cats. Just kidding, dad. Last time I left them there for six weeks, Panther, ga Panther gained four pounds. Apparently my, cans my father thinks that the spray cheese in a can is a good snack for a cat. Ha ha. I'll try to keep updating the site for my friends and family on a weekly basis, but I've been pretty busy lately, so bear with me. Oh my gosh, not Lucy. Thank you for the three months. All right. Uh, Boomer and Panther are having the time of their life, apparently, at this FBI agent's parents' house. Oh, the, the frame rate always goes crazy when I'm on the computer. It really does. Uh, let's go get a gun, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess as a housewife, a desperate housewife, if you will, I have nothing else on the agenda. I have to ask Mike for a gun? I should probably ask uh, Bree. We just saw her in that clip. With a big old gun. I'm sure she's in. Come in, Bree. Come in, Bree. Oh, hello there. Oh my gosh, Excrea, thank you for the sub. We are also, I reminded Dan today, we're 19 sub points away from getting Dan on the microphone. We can, <laughs> with just 100 sub points, we can get Dan to buy a gun live on stream. I'm kidding, that's not what he's gonna do. <laughs> Hello, Bree, can I ask you a question? Why, of course. Would you like to come in? No, thank you, Bree. I just need to ask you something a little odd, and I hope I'm not being presumptuous here, but... It's perfectly fine. Not siblings or dating stream imminent. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, if anyone feels like, you know, gifting 20 subs right now, I'm feeling a little crazy. <laughs> it's okay. I was really shaken up by the burglary this morning at my house. I had a long talk with my husband. Oh, yes. Oh, hi, Zazabelle. about it. It's dreadful. Was anything stolen? How are you holding up? Well, my husband seems to think that the police have everything under control. But I feel differently. What do you mean? Don't trust the cops. What are you going to do? Well, that's why I'm here, Bree. I know that you pride yourself on your ability to be in control. Oh, God. You can never be overprepared. Especially when it comes to the security of your family. Well, Bree. I guess I've come to the right person. What do you want me to do? <laughs> you know Bree loves cops. Um, I knew you would understand, Bree. I need to borrow a handgun. Do you have one I could keep that I can keep for a while? Well, well, this is no joke. I guess I can let you borrow my gun. That's Just that easy. Careful. If you need any help, I can show you how to use it. Nope, don't need that. My family owes you a debt of gratitude, Bree. I'll return it as soon as things settle down here. Anything to help out a friend in crisis. Don't do this. Let me go get it for you. Don't do this. Please, for the love of God. 
Don't do this in real life. This is a video game. Here you go. This one is reliable. Just keep it as long as you need it. I hope it makes you feel more secure. Thanks again, Bree. You are a real lifesaver. See you later. All right, now let's go give this to our um, gay friend. Gays are famously safe with handguns. Uh, where is he? Where does he live? Oh, right there. Right there. I'm sure this is going to go really well. We're not going to see our therapist or consult our husband. Why would we do such a thing? Come on. It's you, thank God. Did you bring the gun? All right, calm down, bud. Yes, Daniel, I got it. Shh, keep your voice down. I want to see it. <laughs> At least buy me dinner first. Hello. Now that I know how easy it is to get my hands on a gun, I think I might like one too. I like the feel of it in my hands. Wow. Now that I'm actually holding it, it feels different than I expected. I mean, this thing can kill someone. I hope I don't have to use it. I hope so too. What do you mean? What did you expect? It's a gun. Bang, bang. Didn't you ever play cops and robbers when you were a kid? Well, I can't thank you enough. Somehow, I knew you could do it. Let's just keep this transaction between you and me, Daniel. No one needs to know the truth. Your secret's safe with me. Thanks again. You're welcome, Daniel. See you around. Good Bye -bye. God. <laughs> uh, alone time. With the recent developments, it might be a good idea to have a chat with the professional. Oh, wait. Daniel is in a weird place. Now that you've helped him out with his situation, you should probably give him some distance. Head home now and see if there's anything that needs your attention around the house. Why would I do that? Um, sounds like it's none of my business. Honestly, sounds like a problem for someone else. Oh, I'm getting a call. Honey, are you alright? Oh god. What, Luke Epp? I'm fine, but what's going on? Why are you calling me from the office? Was there an emergency? No, no, I had to take care of paperwork, but there was an accident. I don't have time to explain. What? Get down here as fast as you can. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, I think the game just froze. No, okay, wait. <laughs> oh, there's a car right there. Hey, I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. <laughs> there's an emergency. Oh my god, of course, honey. I'll be there in a few minutes. Is everything okay? I'm fine. I'll explain everything when you get here. <laughs> Hurry. Oh, the car disappeared. <laughs> the car disappeared. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Slowly getting hit by a car. Happens to the best of us. All right, let's get in our Chrysler Pacifica and go fast. <laughs> Not maybe our therapist got shot by gay. Don't manifest that energy. I'm sure the gay handled the gun very responsibly. We're strutting. We're strutting over to that doctor's office right now. Because there's always time for a cocktail. Also, can we talk about how we have $22,000 in cash right now? Y'all wish. Y'all wish. It's starting to come too. Oh, God. I don't have the discs. What, what happened? Where am I? Jesus Christ! It's Frank Fox! What happened? Was he mugged? I don't know. I just stopped by to pick up some paperwork and I found him in the parking lot. Unconscious and obviously badly beaten. I called you as soon as I realized it was Frank. Oh my gosh, he looks awful! What happened? Someone did a number on him. He's suffering massive head trauma and numerous contusions. But it looks like he's coming around. Ah! My head. Where am I? Yeah, we do love the sleeve he's got going here. The little, the little tat sleeve. 
What happened to you, Frank? Were you mugged? Frank, it's me. You're in my office and my I mean, he's in a doctor's room. office. I'm sure he's fine. You're in my parking lot. You were unconscious, so I brought you into my office. I I went to meet with them. They wanted the discs, so we arranged to meet downtown. You actually went to meet those criminals from the bank? The ones who broke into my house? I know I should have told the police or the feds, but I don't think we fucked Frank. I'm pretty sure we haven't. Once. Maybe. We might have. I don't think so. They said they would kill me. And then Daniel. I know. Why did Luke Epp call us? He is the doctor. That's like learned incompetence, you know? What are you both talking about? You know who broke into the house? Y you've been talking to the feds? Shh. Frank has some old business that followed him to Fairview. We'll talk about it later. Right now we have to make sure he's okay. Oh no. Hippa schmippa. Daniel, how long have I been here? I overheard them talking about heading to the house to search for the discs. Oh god. If Daniel is there... Uh, oh my god. We need to warn Daniel. <laughs> Oh no! Daniel's all alone in your house. We have to warn him. Daniel won't stand a chance if those men show up. We need to warn him right away. Ah. Um. Call the Fox House right now. Warn Daniel to get out of that house. <laughs> okay. We have some phone calls to make. It would appear. Oh, there, he, there he is. Hello. This is Daniel Fox. Oh my gosh, Hayden, thank you for the resub. <laughs> it's me, Martha. Is everything okay? What's the matter? You sound strange. Is everything all right? Oh, hold on, sweetie. Someone's at the door. No! Daniel! Don't answer the door! Daniel! Also, my partner's name is Dan, so this is very strange. sure he's fine <laughs> is he is he okay i don't i'm sure he's fine but he had a gun so i'm sure he's fine guns are very helpful in situations like this <laughs> let's just strut on over in our chrysler pacifica fast travel over to his house because who has the time oh my god jesus i'm bleeding help me no. they shot me damn it they shot me oh my god where are you shot two men it happened so fast <laughs> i i didn't have time to to react oh, oh god I can't feel my legs. Oh my god, I'm sure you'll be fine, Daniel. Hold on, help is on the way. It's all right. It doesn't even hurt anymore. It's okay. Just let me go. You can't die, Daniel. Listen to me, stay with me. Oh, Frank, I'm sorry I wasn't a better brother. I never told him how proud I am of him. <laughs> how much I loved him. Tell him for me, please. Yeah, the posture. First of all, I'm like levitating off of um the third step. <laughs> I'm also social distancing. We're not getting too close to him. Don't talk like that. Everything's going to be fine. It's so cold. I'm sorry for dragging you into this, but don't worry about me. I'm going to be okay. We're burying our gaze right now. We are absolutely burying our gaze. Daniel! I'm so tired. I'm gonna close my eyes. Tell oh, Frank I love him. Oh, Daniel, please don't leave. Take care of my begonias. What? <laughs> what? No, Daniel, don't leave. Balls. Not balls. <laughs> this is serious, not Lizzie. In an idyllic place, someone like died. Elaine, it's easy to take things for granted. The comfort and strength that only a spouse can offer. 
the support of a family and the health and safety of one's children. This game is very homophobic. For poor Frank Fox, he'll never have the opportunity to tell his little brother how much he loved him, how much he respected him, and how far he will go to avenge his death. Whose first great idea was to buy a bus ticket to New York when she was 15? Anyways. For some people, oh my tragedy God. creates a burden too overwhelming to bear. Oh my God. And while mourning may provide relief for many of us. Why are we like... Others, it does nothing to alleviate their pain <laughs> and suffering. In Frank Fox's case, it only fuels his rage toward the people who committed... Oh my God. Act. And we run the risk of watching one tragedy quickly lead into another. Um... <laughs> no, this is not salt burn. We're not May fucking the grave. For a moment? We tried to sleep with, uh, what was his name? Daniel earlier. He wasn't interested. You certainly may. We're not going to be nice to the cop. Fine, but make it quick. Well, as I'm sure you're well aware, there's an ongoing investigation into Daniel Fox's murder. All too aware, officer. This is a very small town. We haven't had much success getting information on the perps. If you're interested in getting the details, the officer on post at the Fox house should be able to fill you in. Oh, good thing Chloe is hot on the case. She'll solve it for all of us. Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to help us out. Maybe later. Right now I have to check on Daniel's brother, Frank. All right. What are we doing? Oh, I'm getting a call. Weight of depression. Sorry to bother you, but I need to talk to you about something. Oh, God, what? Sure. Daniel became a part of our little group, our clique. This tragedy is affecting all of us. When? It sounds like it's weighing pretty heavily on you, Bree. How are you planning on dealing with the situation? In honor of Daniel, I'm putting together a little get-together around 7 tonight. Oh my god, we're not playing poker to mourn the gay man's death, please! To be honest, you seem to be taking it better than the rest of us. I'd really like you to be there. Um, I can try, but what would I do? People just seem to listen to you. I think they find you to be a soothing presence. Me? You can do one of two things. Talk everyone through their feelings of loss. Or pour some stiff drinks so we can forget about it for a few hours. Personally, I would love a group of messy straight women to mourn me by playing poker. I guess you're not wrong. <laughs> I guess you're not wrong. Also, Mark, isn't it so late where you are? Why aren't you asleep right now? Personally, I think overt emotional displays are crass, but Susan thought it was a good idea. Oh, God. Not By Susan. The way, we all made a pact to wear the dresses that Daniel created for us for the fashion show. I assume you'll join us? I seem to be the designated mourner these days. We would all appreciate whatever you can do to help. You can count on me, Bree. Oh, well, you're, re you're well rested then in that case, Mark. It's fine. Well, let's change into our morning dress, I guess. <laughs> our hot girl morning dress. Oh my gosh, you were making non Hayden? I'm jealous. I made focaccia earlier. And this time, Goose isn't going to eat it. This time, I'm going to actually get to enjoy it. Also, Vixabee, not sleep is for the dead like Daniel. Let him- he's been dead for two minutes. Let him rest, good lord. All right. Goose is resting over there. I have my eye on him. Don't you worry. All right, there we go. We're in mourning. This is us when we're in mourning. We're a little kitten heel. At least we look hot. Cons oh, we can console all these people. Good lord. No, thank you. I would like to not do that. It's what Daniel would want. For us to be in a strapless dress right now. 
kitten heel to a gay man's funeral. That's more homophobic than killing him. Uh, it was 2008. It was it was fashionable for the time. What can I say? Is green your favorite color? You know. Good day to you, ma'am. Is there something I can do for you? I would have said yellow was my favorite color, but I think green is getting there. Honestly, I do love a green. There certainly is. Are we about to fuck the cop right now? And what's that? You can let me go inside and talk to my friend. I'm sorry, but at the moment I'm unable to disclose any information to you regarding Mr. Frank Fox. And I certainly can't let you speak with him. I was told to stand here and see to it no one went inside. This is a crime scene, you know. Oh, come on. Can't you let me in for a minute? We're good friends. Hey, you. Oh, God. Hi, Edie. What's going on? I've been running around like a chicken with his head cut off lately. What a wonderfully tasteless thing to say, even for you, Edie. Hmm. Let's just say the whole murder in the neighborhood thing isn't exactly a boon for the real estate business. You know, that's fair. I've been so busy rustling up prospective clients that I haven't been able to spend time with Carl. Quality time. Who the fuck is Carl? I mean. In the bedroom, in case I'm not being clear. All right, we get it. You peg him. Your character is totally a Mary Sue, right? Everyone on Wisteria Lane seems to live and die by the choices of Martha Big Venus, as they should. I mean, look at this woman. Should she not be running the whole neighborhood? Carl. Carl's a good-looking man, Edie. Deny him long enough and someone else will gladly step in your place. Right now, I'm on my way to check out another house going on the market. I'll take care of Carl tonight. And it looks like you're already talking to someone. A handsome someone. A cop, say so. lady. Uh, maybe you can get something out of him. Is this strapping young policeman here giving you a hard Okay, time? she can sleep with the cop. That's fine. No, ma'am. I'm just following orders. And you're doing an excellent job at that. Tell you what, why don't I fill her in instead? Um, wait. You're looking for Frank, right? Yeah, have you seen him lately? I don't know for sure, but I can tell you where I think he is. Miss? Girl. I actually just missed him. Huh? That's confidential information, ma'am. I'd appreciate it if you refrain from divulging information regarding Mr. Fox as he relates to this case or his whereabouts to anyone other than an officer such as myself. They put him in a squad car just a little while ago. <gasps> hey! Oh, is there not yellow on the pole thing? Discrimination. They arrested him? I don't think he was under arrest. Officer Friendly here didn't even put handcuffs on him. He did let me play with him, though. <laughs> Frank wasn't even there when it happened. Besides, Officer Kyle's not the type to manhandle a perp. Likely story, Madison. <laughs> Wait a minute, how do you know Kyle? I was his date to the policeman's ball last year. Oh my god, Trust no, me, Edie. More than adept at handling a woman. But a man? Not him. But they canceled last year's policeman's ball. Well, why else did they have all those handcuffs and men in uniform in one place? You're new on the force, aren't you? I'm not that new. Don't worry about Frank. I'm sure they just wanted him to look through mugshots or something. I think Edie is pegging the entire local police force. I don't know if I'm horrified by that or respect it. He'll be there for a while before they take him to the safe house. Well, there you go. From the lips of cute little officer friendly here. He's at the station if you want to see him. Yeah, I need to talk to him. You've been so much help. Maybe I'll put in a good word with Officer Kyle. Thanks, but don't tell him what I said about Mr. Fox. Oh, don't worry. My lips are sealed. At least when it comes to talking. Bleh. Also, um, Kyle is my dad's name, so it's really giving me the creeps that this cop is named Kyle right now. Please, Edie, please no. Red getting zero votes, I believe. Red, I mean... Even if it's the color of, um... The communists it's just it doesn't do it for me honestly it doesn't Edie says Frank has just left moments alone give him a call 
fucking call him up in jail? Sure, why not? Hello? Hi, Frank. I know you're with the police, and I hope you aren't too tired of talking with people just yet. So tell me, us calling him in the middle of an interrogation right now? Red used to be my favorite color, but now I fear being sued by Taylor Swift. I think that's a reasonable fear at this point. Honestly. First off, do you feel like talking to me, Frank? If not, I totally understand. Sure, we can talk for a minute or two. I've been doing a lot of talking today. First, an officer talked with me at my house. Then I was questioned in a small room at the precinct. And then after that, I was questioned again not too long ago once we got to this dump. You sound pretty upset, Frank. Maybe in perhaps of, um, uh, it might have something to do with your brother being murdered on your doorstep. Upset? No, not really. Oh, <laughs> hey, excuse me. I'm on the phone here. I'm on the phone. I want to talk about it. I got to go now. Bye. <laughs> Look at this little freak on the phone here. Look at him. He's like, <laughs> That's exactly the sound he's making back there. Frank, wait. What I meant to say was... Oh, do I have to say all of this? How are you dealing with your loss? The loss? My brother was killed. Don't try to soften it. Did y'all see the video of the Swifty who broke out sobbing and screaming in front of the stadium because Taylor sang some song? I think, yes, I know what you're talking about, but honestly, I could be thinking of a totally separate video because I think there are multiple versions of that <laughs> experience across the world. I'm not ready to talk about that yet. The Swifties are out of control. Bye. That being said, I thrifted this shirt and it says Holiday House on it this weekend. And I fully didn't realize I forgot that Taylor Swift owns Holiday House. And so when I showed my friend that I was uh, thrifting with this, she was like, oh my gosh, folklore, Taylor Swift. And I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> that is, that is what I just got, isn't it? I still got it. It's still a look. But now it's an extra layer of humor to it. Frank, wait, what I meant to say was... Oh, then I guess you don't want to tell me what you're doing right now. Why do you need to know? Orange is my least favorite color, just to, for the record. I'm not ready to talk about that yet. I have to go now. Bye. Oh my gosh, we really have to go through all of this. Can you tell me where you are right now? I'm down at the police station right now. They're calling it questioning, but they've been grilling me for hours in this godforsaken freezing cold room. I didn't even notice that he's been honking at us in the background this whole time. I love that. Yellow sucks, Blue Star. Uh, Blue Star, as a mod, can you ban Blue Star from the chat? You have me doing all sorts of crazy things here at the precinct. The Banned. last thing I want to do is answer more questions. They just finished questioning me. Now they're taking me somewhere else for my safety, which sounds like a load of bull, but whatever. All right, we're just talking in circles with this man. To the safe house. I've been told that I'm not supposed to talk about it, but they can all go to hell for all I care. And if that bothers them, tough. On a day like this, I have the right to be a little pissed off. How are you dealing with your loss, Frank? A loss? All of a sudden you sound like a shrink. Cut it out. I'm not ready to talk about that yet. I have to go now. My Bye. gosh, we're still in this conversation. Right now, I just want to get out of this place. God. These cops are making me nervous. I respect cops and all, but it's starting to make me feel like I've done something wrong. My brother was the goddamn victim here. Protect and serve my ass. True. True. The loss. Right. I'm holding up all right. You know, at least the lesbians made it out okay. They broke up, but they're alive. The bar is in hell. Right now, I'm just taking it day to day. There really isn't anything I can do from here. I don't suppose I can help you with anything, can I? What do you mean? I was talking with the officer earlier. Apparently the police don't have any real leads. I think we should take it upon ourselves to figure out what happened. If you think you can, then do it. I'd like to help, but it looks like I'll be stuck in some seedy motel somewhere watching the boob tube. Um... Frank? Oh, right. Right. So, you're gonna need to do some legwork if you plan on finding anything out. 
If you have any way of finding out um, what actually know, that would be a start. Actually, yes, I do. There's a rookie cop with a big mouth that's supposed to be guarding your house. I can make him talk. Are we going to fuck like the cop? Can. Get as much information as you can. We'll figure something out from there. Peach is pink in my mind, but I guess it probably is more orange than People pink. People like talking to you, so it shouldn't be hard. And keep me updated. If I'm in the loop with this whole thing, I won't be going stir-crazy in here. Will do. Hang in there, Frank. He does kind of look like the ninth doctor. Oh, let's seduce the mailman while we're, you know, while we're over here. No, go get out of the street. Seduce. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Hang on. The game's breaking because I'm trying to seduce the mailman. All right. Show me your package. Are you coming on? This is like <laughs> enough talk. Show me your package. Y'all ever fuck the mailman? I didn't think it was possible, but you were even better the second time. Hi, French horns. If we had any, how are you? Uh, well, ba 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 ba. Um. Call Frank. I think we have to talk to the... It just says call Frank. I think we have to talk to the cop outside. Investigate the Moida. Good day to you, ma'am. I just hope we don't have to sleep with him. Um, I just thought we could talk for a bit. You can make a little time for civilians now and then. Am I right? Why, certainly. What did you want to talk about? It must be so lonesome here all by yourself. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose that holds true for some of the other guys, but I'm not really like everybody else. The job comes first for me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. However, if I should happen to have a stimulating conversation with an attractive <laughs> passerby, I wouldn't be one to complain. Yes, this is where Daniel's corpse was, um, for those who, who didn't notice. So, what's your name? Most of my friends just call me... Martha. And you were good friends with Daniel? I've never seen the show. Is it just a lot of seducing husbands? That's Daisy Star Art. That seems to be the sense I'm getting as someone who's also never seen the show. I hope that's what the show is. You could say that. It must be difficult having something like that happen in your own neighborhood, huh? It is. It would certainly help if I have some way of knowing what happened to him for peace of mind, if nothing else. You seem like a nice enough person. I can tell you a little bit about the case. Oh, would you? On the night in question, there were two suspicious persons milling about the neighborhood. He is a pick-me cop, 100%. There were also two sets of unidentified prints discovered at the Fox house. Uh, what? Coincidentally, there are two convicted felons living on Wisteria huh? right now that I suspect we'll be investigating pretty soon. Michael Solis and Carlos Del Carlos? Who the fuck is Michael? Car oh, Mike! Mike, what? Also, Daniel was slain at 11 p.m. on the night in question. Oh, me and me were gone? I didn't even notice. Did someone die? I mean, I think you were there when Daniel died, right? If not, Daniel died. <laughs> Daniel's dead. So if you ask me, this is what I think happened. Um, oh god, we're making the most out of this gay man dying, aren't we? That's not even where he died. He died on the front step. You're a bad cop. But I told you that in confidence. I plan on bringing that up with the chief once I collect more evidence. Oh, of course. I'll keep quiet about that. Yeah, just keep that between us. Thanks again for the info. My husband and I were both very upset over Daniel's death. Um, okay. Well, I'll be right here. Bye. Oh, God. All right, let's go talk to Mike about how he murdered Daniel, our sweet Daniel. Mike, I have some questions for you, but first, let's get this out of the way first. Hey, what's going on? Is it a clog? What exactly? All right. 
I see. Follow me. We have to get this out of the way. Very important that we get this out of the way. Before we find out for sure if he's a murderer. Once again, you've rocked my world. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey there. What's going on? Hey, Mike. I wanted to talk to you about a few things. So you're a woman on a mission, huh? I like that. Okay, gross, Mike. Well, I'm not in much of a talking mood right now. I figured you had something quick you wanted to bring up. It's all right, Mike. We all feel the same way you do. Ah, so you know where I'm coming from. Good. I can't tell you how many times that jerks told me he was going to do something and then completely flipped Who? on me. Who? Are we talking about the same person? Daniel Fox? He's barely cold. Exactly. Like just the other day, Mr. Famous Fashion Designer asked me to stop by and look at a leaky faucet at his place. Okay, are you not a plumber? Is that not literally your job? I had some things planned that day, but I decided to be a good neighbor and make time for him. Granted, it wasn't until later in the day that I came by, but still, I was doing him a favor. It's only common courtesy that he's around when I stop by. Okay. When I called ahead to check and see if he'd let me in, he's not home. Then Susan called me up and invited me over for an early supper. Are y'all fucking? Are you and Susan fucking? Since I figured Daniel would call at any minute and rescue me from Susan's chattering, I agreed to have dinner with Julie and Susan. Does that happen on the show? Dinner became dessert, became coffee. No call from Daniel. By the time I was able to escape, it was pretty late. I figured Daniel would call to apologize the next day. Um, Mike, about when did that happen? We spoke in the morning, but I didn't get a hold of him for the rest of the day. But nothing since. Not on my cell phone, and nothing since I'm back in town. It's Mike like and Susan are many fans Earth, OTP? Which is a bit of a relief, because he's such a pain in the butt. It's hard to imagine this man being anyone's OTP, to be quite honest, but okay. But I know he's gonna call. He always does. Probably just when I'm about to fall asleep tonight. Did Mike and Daniel boink? I wish. I wish. Mike, I think that in Daniel's current state, it's unlikely you'll be hearing from him for quite some time. Wait, what are you getting at? Wait, Mike doesn't know that he's dead? <laughs> Mike, Daniel Fox is dead. He was murdered. That's not the kind of thing you joke about. Okay, should I look up Mike Delfino in real life? He just looks like Tim Allen in this game. Is he hotter than Tim Allen? If it's just Tim Allen, I'm gonna lose it. Mike Delfino. Oh my gosh, I googled it and the first suggestion is Mike Delfino death. That's a spoiler. That's a spoiler. <laughs> he dies? Um... <laughs> the first picture that comes up is this very... This picture of him just leaning on the house. It's not really doing it for me. He... He does look like he would have been The Bachelor in the early 2000s, but... Oh, this is Mike and Susan, the OTP. There they are. There they are. Um... I can't say he's for me, but it is 2005. I mean, this picture isn't bad. I realize this is very small for y'all. Um, okay. Maybe I have to actually see him talk. <laughs> oh my god. Wait! I just, I'm seeing spoilers for the show. I'm seeing spoilers for the show because I Google imaged him. God damn it. You're right. It isn't. I'm serious. And in fact, I'm trying to do something about it. What else can you tell me about that night? Wow. I don't even know what to say. I already told you everything I know. I was with Susan and Julie that night. Sort of a dinner and kidnapping combined, since Susan didn't seem to want to let me leave. Anyway, I left around 11. As soon as I walked in the door, Susan called me and then proceeded to talk my ear off for an hour or so. You know how she can get. Wow, what an OTP, the most romantic couple I've ever seen. Susan just has a lot to say, that's all. Yeah, 
Good luck with that. Verify the alibi. All right, we have to go talk to Susan. But Susan's so boring. So boring. Hello, Susan. Oh, hey. If you're looking for my mom, she's in the kitchen. Thanks, child. All right, approach her from behind. Ah! You know, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. How are you dealing with everything that's been going on? Oh, God. Susan, get out of there. <laughs> Please. The kitchen sink is, is sucking you into the vortex. Okay, I guess. Right now, I'm trying to figure out what happened the night Daniel was murdered. Don't you think that kind of job is best left to the police? The police? They can do whatever they like. It doesn't matter to me. I'm running my own investigation. Uh-huh. And I suppose you have a plan to get to the bottom of things. Well, I was talking with Mike a little while ago. He said he was over here and didn't even know that a murder even happened. Despite that, they still seem to think that he had something to do with it. Mike! You don't really think they believe Mike did it, do you? For all I know, they just might. What were the two of you up to that night anyways? Were you... fucking? Right. Actually, there were three of us here. Me, Mike, and Julie. Well, that's really inappropriate, Susan. Hey, what's going on, Mom? We were just talking about Daniel Fox. Oh, man. I still can't believe that happened right down the street. How's Mr. Fox holding up? I haven't seen him since before the incident. Edie mentioned that the police took him in. Not as a suspect, but to protect him. But that's not the weird part, Julie. Mike is considered a suspect. Mm -hmm. Mike, Mike? But he was here that night. I remember because you did everything in your power to stop the poor guy from going home. Susan. Julie, you're being silly. It's just that it was late. Slut. I was worried just kidding. All women are queens. That hour. Mom, he lives across the street. The poor man drank four nightcaps trying to be polite. Then as soon as you saw him walk into his house, you called him on the phone. As it turns out, this is a dangerous neighborhood. Sexy for the 2000s Mike? Safely. That guy? Is that why you talked to him for almost an hour on the phone? Oh, give me a break, Julie. Who's been on the phone every night this week gossiping about people at school? Oh my gosh, don't tell on your teenage daughter right now. Is it my fault that Danielle Vandekamp gives it up to any boy who asks? <gasps> I'm just doing the right thing and spreading the word. <laughs> ah! I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Okay. By now, I'm sure you're not the only one that knows that. I'm sure lots of people know by now. What is happening right now? <laughs> I'm being a bad influence, apparently. Well, let's move on now. We're getting a bit off the topic at hand. Back to Mike. What else is new? Look, we can't let the police think he had anything to do with Daniel's death. It's just ridiculous. You just told me Mike was on this end of Wisteria Lane the night the murder took place. I guess you're right. Well, problem solved then. Now that we've straightened that out, I've got to get going. All right. See you around. Okay. Oh, now we have to talk to Carlos. Uh, let's go sleep with Carlos, I guess, if we have to. And then interrogate him. And in that order. In that exact order. Oh, there he is. He's coming on over. Hey. Carlos, just the person I wanted to talk to. Carlos, who is it? Oh, God. There's a ghost. Why don't you come out here and find out for yourself? Oh, it's Gabrielle. Why do you always have to have something smart to... Huh? Oh, hi. Hi, I didn't mean to interrupt anything. I just wanted to ask you guys a few questions. No, no. We're fine. Why don't you come inside for a minute? Daniel's murder did... Daniel's murder did have us all a bit shaken up. It's still hard to believe. 
All right, we're sitting on these diagonal couches. It's unfortunate that something like that had to happen to Daniel. He had his whole life ahead of him. Yeah, that's the reason I'm here. The police don't seem to regard this as a big case. Wait a second. What does Daniel's death have to do with us? Yeah, what can we tell you that we didn't tell the police? We didn't see anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have reason to believe they're going to suspect Carlos because of his prior convictions. They suspect me. I went to jail for embezzlement, for Christ's sakes. I'm not a violent man. Woo! We do love an embezzlement. <laughs> Shh. We don't... We don't love embezzlement. Embezzlement's bad. Woo! Embezzlement! <laughs> they know you were around the time of the murder took place. Yeah? Well, they're wrong. Carlos would never do anything to hurt Daniel. I know for a fact that he couldn't have that night. We were both home and in bed by 11. You were out that night too, Gabby? Actually, I wasn't exactly following my normal routine that night. Uh-huh. See, earlier in the day, Carlos tried to drag me into another one of his charity benefits. Oh, uh, here we go. I'm not talking to you, sweetie. Stay out of it. Listen, honey, she came over here to talk to me. Carlos doesn't want you to know that he threw a fit because I didn't want to go to his little party. Uh. We fought about it for hours. Then we had the makeup sex. Then we fought again. Then more makeup sex. Okay, so Mike is a slut. Carlos is a slut. I don't know much about Daniel. I'm sure Daniel was a slut. Everyone on Wisteria Lane is just a slut. Yeah, we didn't make the charity event, but I definitely gave it my all. As did Gabby. Okay, gross. Gross, Carlos. <laughs> I had a number of appointments scheduled that day with a number of business professionals. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, and which professional was it this time? Henri? Pierre? That guy with the mole? If Mike is a slut and Carlos is a slut, then who's steering the ship? <laughs> Valid question. Valid question. It's called a beauty mark, and that doesn't make him any less of a professional. Is there nothing else to do here except commit murder? I mean, what do you think housewives are up to all day? They're being desperate and committing crimes. Anyway, I had to keep my appointments and wound up pushing my workout back to the end of the day. So, I didn't go for my run until much later that night. And Carlos came home right after I did. We were together for the rest of the night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we still had some issues to resolve. Upstairs, if you know what I mean. Gross, Carlos. Carlos. Have you ever heard of such a thing as too much information? <laughs> Wait, and I can't turn over and auto mod your thing. Oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Blue Star. All the people in this town know how to do is sleep around, kill gays, eat hot banana meatloaf, and lie. <laughs> and what about that? What's wrong with that? It involved whipped cream, strawberries, Definitely too much information, but at least I found out neither one of you was involved. Actually, when I was running back home, I thought I saw two people milling around your house. Uh. It was dark. I guess my eyes could have just. Uh. Did you tell the police what you saw? No. Why would I tell them that? I could have been seeing trees blowing in the wind or something. Uh. That's the kind of thing you tell them, even if you're not sure. This way they can investigate. That's what they do, Gabby. Well, I definitely didn't see anything out of the ordinary that night. I'm sorry, I can't help you out any further. Why are you apologizing to her for not seeing anything? God, Carlos, you can be such a wimp sometimes. Looks like you two might have some more making up to do. <laughs> Carlos. Okay. Our son? Did our son kill Daniel? Bort would never do that. He's a good boy. Bort wouldn't kill Daniel, would he? Would he? He does play Fortnite. He does play Fortnite. That is suspicious. Fortnite, yes. <laughs> exactly, Mark. Fortnite. Yeah, someone showed him some Andrew Tate and it all went downhill. Oh, nothing much. I just wanted to talk to you for a bit. This is important, Bort. On the night that Daniel Fox died, did you hear anything strange? That's a really strange question. 
I don't care if it's strange. I want to know what you saw. People's lives are at stake, Bort. Don't you remember? I was grounded. I didn't go anywhere that night. You know what's funny? If you and Dad would just let me stay out later, I'd probably be able to help you out right now. Well, is there anything else you can help me with then? I told you I was in all night. I was playing Utter Warfare online with this guy I know from the web forums, Double Trouble. I figured since nobody was home, oh, I'd the volume up pretty loud, so there's no way I would have heard anything. Oh god. He was playing Fortnite with the murderer. Done with the interrogation now, Mom? That's a perfectly reasonable explanation. I just hope it's the truth. Why would I lie to you? He was being groomed on kick, just like all of us <laughs> in 2011. I think that's what, what, what was happening here. Let's be honest here. You've gotten pretty good at hiding things from me. Don't think I haven't noticed. Jeez, you know what? You're worse than Danielle's mom. The both of you make a habit of nagging and bugging people. Why can't you just leave me alone? Why are you so hung up on this? I mean, I know he wasn't your boyfriend or anything. He didn't even play for that team, did he? Oh my god, Bort! Don't... Okay, Bort! Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Other than you and his brother, who's really gonna miss him anyway? Bort! Bort! Look, you know this means something to me. What are you... Why are you being this way? My own son doesn't even want to help me. Look, Mom, I'm sorry your friend is dead, but I don't know anything. I promise. So drop it already. <laughs> we we might need to ground Bort again, I think. Fine, I've had enough abuse anyway. I thought I'd get a sympathetic ear, but obviously that's impossible in this house. Good lord. We're not good parents. We are absolutely not good parents. Um, Alright, should we look up double trouble? I forgot how to spell it. I'm going to ask him again. Good God. Why can't you just play Gal Baldur's Gate 3 like hey, the man. rest of us? A few more Mom, questions. What is it with you? Don't you have something else to do? Yeah, I am. Are you absolutely sure you didn't see or hear anything that I night? I don't know anything. And conspire with Mrs. Vandekamp about how to ruin the rest of my senior year. Because I don't have anything else to say to you. You're just like your father, you know that? Okay, well, that didn't help us. Let's um, go on the website. Maybe we can look at the Utter Warfare forums. New. Double Trouble. Oh, that was Frank. That was Frank. Because he was like, oh... It's been a long ride, but I'm going to go die now. Yeah, that was Frank. So our son was gaming with Frank the night of the murder. Well, that can't be good, can it? Double. Hmm. Hmm. Should we go should we go ask him again? The clue is still there. Or maybe we should call Frank. Where's our son? Where did he disappear to? Um where'd he go? Son? Doesn't Bort know anyone his own age hey, to Mom, play games with? A valid question. A valid question. I mean, does that mohawk answer your question, perchance? Mom, uh, what is it with you? Don't you have something else? I don't know anything else. And conspire with Mrs. Because Okay, we've seen this before. To to you. He's not talking. Let's call Frank. See if he has anything Mom? to say. So I talked with my son about the night in question. He told me he didn't see anything since he was home playing video games all night. He thinks that's why he didn't hear anything about that night. I guess that makes sense. 
If you think he's being completely honest, have you tried asking him about it again? Sometimes people point you in the right direction the second time around. Or, if they're hiding something from you, they might accidentally give you information that leads you to the next clue. Okay. I feel like he's just telling us the same thing. Hey, Mom. What's up? Uh, a Mom, few questions. You. Don't you have something else to do? I don't, and conspire because I don't have anything else to say to you. Uh, should we go check his computer? He keeps mentioning Miss Vanderkamp. Maybe they want to go talk to her. I guess so, yeah. Because we looked on the forums and we did see that before. Um, I just want to check and see if anything's different on his computer. It doesn't look like it is. It looks like it's the same. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I guess let's go ask Bree. Bree usually knows what's up. Maybe you should ask him where he was on a certain date in January. No! <laughs> Board is innocent! Ford is innocent. All right, all right. Where is Bree? Balls. Balls. Exactly, exactly. Hello? What a pleasant surprise. Hello, Bree. I was hoping you could help me with something. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm trying to piece together what happened the night of his murder, and I think you might be able to provide some pieces of the puzzle. I'm afraid you're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Daniel's murder. Thank you for the posture check, Vixavid. I'm standing straight and tall now. Oh. There's only one thing that comes to mind when I think of that night. But it certainly isn't going to bring Daniel's killers to justice, so it's probably better not to speak of it. Okay. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. What? I have absolutely no idea what happened to Etta's garden. What? I never said anything about Etta. That was the night your son attempted to court my daughter. Huh? Oh, right. I, I guess it slipped my mind. Yes, I'm sure it did. Well, at least... <laughs> Bree's daughter is a high schooler, so that's an improvement. Care to refresh me on the details? That night, he and Danielle were coming back from their date. I caught Danielle trying to sneak back into the house. Scandalous. She knew better than to stay out that late. I assume your son was the bad influence. Ooh, yes to the poll. I saw them coming out of your house looking guilty as sin. And then your son had the nerve to try to sneak in with Danielle. Mom, haven't you done enough? Now you're talking to the neighbors about this? Haven't you embarrassed me enough already? I'm not trying to embarrass anyone, dear. You do more than enough of that for the both of us. Needless to say, they were surprised when I greeted them on the porch. I sent your son home immediately. Then Danielle and I had an interesting talk that evening. I say Bort needs to be one. Uh, Luke Epp, I think, needs to be a suggestion on the poll. Um, what else? What else would I name a, a wasp if I had the choice? Double Trouble, I think, is a good one. Hmm. Daniel Fox, rest in peace. Ashley Jr., sure. <laughs> 
The two of them were out that night, together? Do you know what this means? Yeah, it means we were out that night. Thank God nothing happened to them. I used to think my Danielle was incapable of hurting a fly, but she is susceptible to dangerous boys. Oh, calm down, Bree. Wait. <laughs> no. <gasps> That's not it. Our son didn't do that. No. Do you seriously think I'm capable of that? <laughs> no, that's not it. The police said Mr. Fox was killed at 11 that night. And if you remember, you sent him home way before that. You went off on your whole high and mighty, and of all things, on a school night tirade and sent me to bed. Besides, I refuse to defend myself. You're insane for even thinking this. If only Dad were still alive. Oh. Her husband's dead? Danielle, you will always be my daughter. But after what this family has been through, and especially after what you've put me through, it will take more than a few words for me to trust you again. Considering you never even told me what you two were up to that night. Ugh. Well, if Danielle doesn't have anything to tell us, there's just one person left. Your son. Maybe you'll have more luck getting the truth out of him. Yeah, and may God have mercy on his soul. <laughs> All right, well, let's go murder our son. Bort. Just like the wasp, I guess. <laughs> Just like that homophobic wasp. Come on, get over there. Uh, Bort? Hey, Mom. What's up? You have a lot of explaining to do. About what? Don't you play dumb with me, Bort Big Venus. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, hell, who knows? Maybe you aren't playing at all. What? Why don't you ever trust me? You're just coming from out of nowhere with all this. Oh, Ragnarok. We're not even done. We're not even close to being done. I remember how this game ends, and it is crazy. And I know you're making this up. You can't prove anything. You're right, Bort. I can't prove you were out that night. I knew it. You were bluffing. I'm sure someone in the Vanderkamp house can prove it for me. Uh, that girl just can't keep her mouth shut. Yeah, but isn't that why you were interested in her? Oh my god! <laughs> Don't say that to your son. Don't say that to your son. Uh, no. God, ew. She's fun. Right, so now that we've gotten the lies out of the way, let's <laughs> see about hearing the truth. Okay. Okay, okay. Danielle and I went out that night, but nothing really major happened. So I didn't feel the need to bring it up. Well, I'm bringing it up now. What happened? Um, after Mrs. Vandekamp finished her angry diatribe, I left and came home. Oh my gosh, bye, Bort the Wasp. I hope Bort the Wasp lives a beautiful life. Away from its toxic, desperate housewife mother. And that's the truth. As I understand it, the truth is that she yelled at the both of you and sent you home. That's one way of looking at it. That can't be everything. You must have seen something else. Nope. I did see someone standing outside the Scabo house talking to some car. Was it Lynette? I don't know. I guess it could have been Mrs. Scavo. Great. I'll just have to find out the rest for myself. I'm going now, but you should know that this isn't over. I'm still upset with you. God, we have to talk to Lynette right now. Lynette? Also, wasn't that our son in the car just now? Ugh. I can't think of a worse fate than having to talk to Lynette. Yeah, Lynette was talking to Lightning McQueen. He was talking to Mater out on the street. God. 
Lynette. Where is she? Where is she? Oop. Tell me what you know, Lynette. Hey, you. We haven't talked in a while. What's new? Good God, I have not missed her. Hey, Lynette, I wanted to come by and talk to you about the night Daniel was killed. I said he was my neighbor and I was hoping he'd be my friend. It's an awful tragedy. I agree. In fact, I was hoping if I found out a little about what happened to him, I'd be able to put my mind to rest. But I've been thinking more and more as I delve deeper into the whole ordeal. I think we're a bit old for the whole detective thing, but go ahead. What do you need? I'm not sure I can help you with anything, but let's give it a try. Who knows? Maybe we both can help. Oh, God. What's get out of here. If I can't sleep with you, Tom, I don't want you in this game. People have sort of placed you outside the night Daniel was murdered. Listen, I don't know what your eyewitness was smoking, but Lynette barely has enough energy to lift herself into bed at night, let alone chat with some stranger. Yeah, uh, it shows. Yeah, um... This is a little bizarre, anyway. I was asleep by 9 o'clock that night. Who thinks they saw me? It's crazy. I'm not at liberty to say. You know, I've heard some things about your son. I was trying uh, to give him a benefit of the doubt, but he sounds like nothing but trouble. Fuck off, Tom. Fuck off. Whoa, everyone calm down. I was in bed by 9 that night, so it obviously wasn't me your son saw. Where was this car? Lynette, how do you know it was my son? I didn't say shit. Uh, honestly, I'm not asking for excuses. I just need to know what happened. Yeah, uh, hope he's not spreading these little assumptions any further than you. Mm hmm You know, to be fair, I do remember something strange from that night. Bortnight already told ev- I called him Bortnight. <laughs> Bort already told everyone on his Fortnite server what happened, okay? Not me. I was sound asleep. Yeah, All right, Tom. Good for you. Dog here. Wouldn't wake up if a tornado ripped the roof off the house. I sleep soundly. Is that a crime? Anyway, Tom was fast asleep. Some noise had woken me up, and I couldn't get back to sleep. <laughs> Fort is short for Fortnite. Did I not mention that? It's a portmanteau. <laughs> we love a portmanteau. Yeah, she's like that. Her mind's always racing. Needs a horse tranquilizer to get her back to bed. Also, can this straight couple please stop talking about their sleeping habits right now? I can't. But maybe I'm investigating a murder. With this case. So, what do you remember that night? I was looking for something to read to help me fall asleep, and I thought I left it on the windowsill. When I looked, there wasn't any magazine, but I saw Gabby on the sidewalk. What was she doing out that late? She was running around the neighborhood. Are you telling me that Gabby was running errands at midnight and decided to stop and have a conversation with a stranger? No, Tom. She was literally running in her very tight pink jogging outfit. You know, the one you're always staring at. Yeah, Tom. The one you're always perving after. Of course. That makes sense now. Gabby was flirting with some guy. It's actually pretty funny that anyone would think you were flirting with someone. <laughs> I don't have enough energy for Tom and Lynette right now. They are exhausting. Tom, what are you implying? Exhausting. You just don't flirt. Well, often. You, you, don't, you don't flirt often. The worst. They're the worst. <laughs> now that I'm a mother, am I supposed to be asexual now? Is it out of the realm of possibility that I might flirt with a man? Someone died. A man might find me to be attractive. Someone died. <laughs> Someone died. Guys, please focus. Okay. I don't mean to be rude, but Tom and I have a few things to discuss. Okay. Bye. Let's get out of this situation. I swear, if I get sucked into one more straight couple's argument when I'm trying to investigate a murder... A murder.
Yeah, Daniel doesn't have to put up with any of this right now. He got lucky. So, tell me, did you find out anything new about Daniel's case? Funny you should ask, because I did hear something that might interest you. Okay, what's up? You didn't quite tell me the entire story about what happened that night, did you? Lynette said she saw you out that night. I told you I went out running that night, didn't I? But see, they also said that you were chatting with some stranger in a black car. Gabby, what is she talking about? Just what were you up to that night? I don't know. Not there more couples fighting. Guy. Some guy? Not Carlos getting jealous of the murderer right now. No, wait. Two guys, actually. They were really confused. Is there anything specific? Is there anything specific you remember about either of them? Like a name, perhaps? Of course they had names. All right. The third person has been redeemed. Wait, let me set the timer. <laughs> and the devil laughs. And the devil laughs. All right. Hang on. Hang on. I haven't set the timer yet. All right. Ashley has set the timer. Ashley hopes that y'all are satisfied. Y'all have been waiting. The one that talked with me in the passenger seat. His name started with an L, but I can't remember what it was. Mr. President, a third person has hit Ashley. <laughs> Once again. Well, they did freak me out at first, but he was just asking for directions. It was pathetic. The guy tried to flirt with me. I mean, come on. He was driving last year's model. Did he think I'd even give the time of day to a guy in a car like that? Ashley totally understands where you're coming from, Gabrielle. Whoa, whoa, back up, Gabby. Who was this guy? Why was he flirting with you? Ashley is tired of straight people fighting in front of her when she's trying to investigate a murder. Carlos, it's not technically flirting if it's one-sided. And trust me, this was one-sided. I was just being nice. Besides, I don't usually fall for the kind of guys you see on the FIB's most wanted list. Unless you were on it, sweetie. The FIB one most wanted list is killing Ashley. It's so good. Gosh, thanks. I guess. Okay, so now that that's all out in the open. Um, what exactly do you want to know? Tell us exactly what happened that night, Gabby. Everything. Yeah, tell tell Ashley everything. Our friend here can find out what she needs to know and do her little detective thing somewhere else. Little detective thing? Right. Well, Ashley is a professional. And and oh god ashley's scared wait that's my that's ashley's husband that's luke epp is it not also why is it broad daylight out i thought it was midnight See? ashley thought it was midnight all getting excited over what turned out to be nothing these guys got lost they pulled over and i gave them directions and then they went off on their merry little way okay so, no clues or red herrings or anything sherlock just out of curiosity, where were they going? Oh, they wanted directions to the Fox House. Gabrielle! <laughs> they what? They what? My God. Gabby, how is it that this is the first time I've... We've all heard about this. Gabrielle buried the gays. That's what happened. Come on. I mean, I just... What's the big deal? They were lost, and I was trying to help them. I was just trying to be helpful. Oh, God. Uh, sure picked a wonderful time to start. Do you have any idea what this means? You're an accessory to murder, Gabby. Ashley doesn't think that's how that works. You withheld information from the police. Ashley's kind of fine with that part. Hell, I could be violating parole just for being around you. They could throw me back in jail. Is that what you want? That's what Ashley wants. How would I have known what they were up to? I don't see what the problem is. I mean, they would have found the house sooner or later. Uh-oh, the music is getting mysterious. Look, you know, like, are they the worst criminals you've ever heard of? Having to ask directions to a hit. It's just pathetic. <laughs> I mean, is she... A a Ashley means, is she wrong? I think you should take a deep breath and listen to what you're saying. Yeah, Vixavid, I guess Carlos did a little embezzlement. You know, as we all do. As are we all do. I don't want to hear any more from you. Done enough. Ashley's embezzled plenty of times, and you can 
You can tell the FBI that. At least we have a better Clip idea. Clip that. Down that night. Ashley loves embezzlement. And lucky you. You managed to get an eyewitness that found a way to help facilitate the murder, but somehow can't remember the name of the killer who tried to hit on her. Wait a minute. Ashley means how iconic would it be if Ashley is getting tried for embezzlement and the prosecutor has to get up and go, Your Honor, please refer to this clip of Ashley's desperate housewife stream <laughs> where Ashley confesses to embezzling. Ashley would love that. Ashley would love that. Carlos, you'd put her to bed before she decides to do any more favors for strange men. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. I'll say one thing, though. She sure is taking her time. Okay, I'm back. This is for you. Something scrawled down on a piece of paper? How does this help? It's the guy's phone number from that night. Oh, you got her number? number? Now I remember. His name was Leonard, but my friends call me Leo. My God, it was Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, didn't do much for me when he said it either. <laughs> Ragnarok, thanks for the clip. Ashley will remember that. <laughs> Ashley will remember that. The timer has expired. I'm free. What reason could you possibly have to keep his number? Oh, relax, Carlos. I put it in my pocket and just forgot about it since then. Like you'd expect me to wear the same hoodie twice? Well, it's very convenient. <laughs> Not the second clip! <laughs> Not two clips of me confessing... <laughs> I'm not getting out of this one, am I? <laughs> Alright, now we have to make that into a YouTube short, just for insurance, I guess. Thanks for the number. You two clearly have some serious things to talk about. Anyways, let's go have sex with Carlos. So Bree made the call. Oh, I'm not here yes. for you. I'm all, don't you have some I'm not here for you. Oh, actually, should we kiss him? Right here? Why not? When his wife is right there. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good stuff. Sit on the couch. Wait. Seduce. Hello. Did you need something? Oh my gosh, she's right there. <laughs> I guess not. I guess there's no way to get caught if that was fine. I know. I mean, that is a straight man, is it not? Whew. Boy, that was some awesome erotic action Inf there. Infuriated that his wife talks to a man in a car while actively sleeping with women in front of her. Are you kidding me? That was the complete package. I was on fire. Oh, you're... All right. Well, uh, mystery number. Oh, right. You have to call this mystery number. Hello? Oh, I missed that. Discord would be to put, make a channel to put Twitch clips in. I will make a note of that. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? I probably won't do it after this stream because I honestly go to bed right after the stream, but tomorrow I can do that. Add Twitch clip channel. But also if you want to put it in just like the stream things channel for now, you're also welcome to. You're welcome to. Anyways, hello? Aha! I've got you now, Leo. Uh, what? Clean out your ears and listen to the next time someone asks you a question. Okay, where do I talk into? Uh, Ragnarok, it is not. You can join the Discord now. There is a, a Patreon-specific channel, but the Discord generally is open to everyone. Huzzah! Hey, Vidi, how, what am I supposed to do? How does this work? Jesus Christ, are you a moron? You talk into the phone and say something like, leave a message after the big... Oh, that's the guy from the fashion show, right? <laughs> or Big Sammy sleeps with the fishes. Your choice. Hey, what are you doing? You're recording right now. You gotta start over. I don't want my voice on your stupid answering machine. Oh, okay. Well, 
Uh, that was that. That was that. Should we just call Frank? What are we supposed to do about that? Hello? Frank, I've got it! That night, Gabrielle talked to a guy who was working for your house. Looking for your house. He told... He told her he worked for Crescetti Pharmaceuticals. And then the creep tried to shove his business card into her bra. I missed that part. Vincent Corsetti? The Vincent Corsetti? I missed that part. Yeah, do you know him personally or something? Uh, it's nothing. I just... Let's make sure it's the same guy before we start jumping to conclusions. Okay, I can do that. Do we have... Oh, we do have his number. This is Vincent. Hey, it's me. I have a question I need to ask you. Okay, shoot. Yeah, you can post in the, um, the stream things channel, like Twitch clips and stuff, and chats. But yeah, other than Mark, it's just the bot that's been in there up until now. But anyone can chat in there, also. What do you know about Daniel Fox's murder? Why would I know anything about that? I did want to start... Sorry, we're getting off topic. We're talking about the Discord. I did want to start a thread in the Stream Things Discord with, like, game suggestions. Like, anytime y'all have games I want you want me to play later on so I can keep track of them. I think that would also be helpful. So if you have ideas for games you want me to play in the future, that would be the channel to do so. Yeah, I don't blame people for assuming it was read-only. I get that. I need to post- I need to break the ice. Post more things in there. Poor guy. I was really upset when I heard what happened to him. <laughs> One day we'll play the Hardy Boys hidden theft game in the- in the thing. I need to actually, like, get it instead of trying to pirate it on the Wii, because clearly that didn't work. Um, also, I got the Lost PC game, and it works. At least the first 10 minutes of it works. So maybe we could play this after we do Desperate Housewives? Could be fun. Could be fun. It was an absolute tragedy. Poor preening bastard was doing so much for the community. You're right. Daniel certainly was doing a lot of good around here. I'm sorry. I'm not the right guy to ask about that. If you're looking for answers or closure, the police are still investigating the crime. I'm sure they're doing everything they can to find out who's behind Fox's death. Actually, I think the police are on the wrong trail. What makes you say that? Someone else on Mysteria Lane that someone else was on Mysteria Lane the night Daniel was killed. I do think the lost PC game just from the first 10 minutes and like what I've read from the reviews is going to be incredibly confusing if you've never watched the show. But I do think it's also bad and it's going to be funny. <laughs> and that's really what matters. Apparently he's an associate of yours. His name is Leonard. Does that ring a bell? His friends call him Leo. Sorry, name doesn't ring a bell. How does this relate to me exactly? Uh, that's not true, Vincent. I mean, I do business with a lot of people. <laughs> it's always possible that I met him at some point. You know, it's funny. You wouldn't believe how many people there are running around saying they're friends with Vincent Corsetti. I've never seen Lost, though I did lie to a magazine in 2006 to try and win a date with Nick Jonas and said it was my favorite show. But I'll think I'll enjoy the game with zero knowledge. As it come, Quad, did you get the date? Did you win? Are you, oh, what's her name? Nick Jonas's wife? I'm blanking on her name. Priyanka? Priyanka Chopra? In the flesh? I love the Billiam videos. The Billiam videos were what inspired me to rewatch Lost fairly recently. I watched it with Dan, and Dan was watching it for the first time. And honestly, I don't think that show is half as bad as people say it is. I think it was ahead of its time. On any given day, a man in my position may meet dozens of people. I can't be expected to remember everyone I've met. Give me a break. 
Don't play games with me, Vinny. You know who Leo is. In fact, you gave him grief because he couldn't operate a simple answering machine. Oh, right. That Leo. Yeah, maybe I know who you're talking about. Oh, yeah, Leo. I think he works at the pharmaceutical office. We have a lot of employees, though. I, I don't know them all by name. Blue Star, you should definitely watch it because it's like the Once Upon a Time formula. Like, Lost is what made Once Upon a Time. It's like the exact same show, but just a different genre. Like, instead of fairy tales, it's that they're on an island and there's polar bears. But it's the same show. It's made by the same people. I guess not. Listen, I understand how difficult it must be for you. You miss your friend and you're trying to find answers. But you're barking up the wrong tree here. Hmm. I'm sure if you just give it some time, you'll find out that there are better days coming your way. One thing I've found in my years of doing business is people usually get what's coming to them. Should I read into that or what? Listen, I'd love to keep talking to you, but I've got an important business call on the other line. I've got to go, but let's talk later. We have a lot to talk about. Goodbye for now. A likely story. What a girl boss. We're just calling up the mob and what figuring out what's happening. Uh, <laughs> I, I love his little profile pic. I don't know why it kills me. I'm answering the phone. Look, this is not a game. Game? You shouldn't be speaking with Vincent. Wait, what? How do you know I talk to him? In my job, I sometimes have to observe certain members of the community. The smoke monster and the polar bear sitting in the tree. K I S S, -S I N G. <laughs> and I became aware of your recent contact with Vincent. You've been stalking me, haven't you? Don't worry. It's not you that we're investigating. I see. So you were just snooping on me? Is that it? I really shouldn't be telling you this. It's classified. But it's for your own good. Vincent is being monitored by the government. His calls, his business dealings, everything. And from what I gather, you don't even... Actually, we shouldn't be having this conversation over the phone. You never know who's listening. With all the trouble you're making for me, this had better be pretty damn important. Good night, I have Mark. To take care of some things. But whenever you're ready to meet in person, call me back. My time is valuable. But so is what I have to tell you. Sure, I'll give you a call when I'm ready. Well, <laughs> so you ready to meet with me yet? Given it a lot of thought, let's go. If you don't have the time to have a serious conversation with me, then don't bother saying yes. Where do you want to meet? Good. It would be in both of our best interests if I came to you. Who needs to play it cool? Let's just call him back right away. Okay, I understand. Meet me at the cul de sac in 60 minutes. I'll be expecting you. Okay, see you soon. Where in the cul-de-sac? Where the fashion show was? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, I'm missing poker right now. I'm missing poker night. <laughs> like sneaker night. Glad to see you made it. Oh, Radio Rebel. Yes, Ragnarok. We'll do that after this cutscene. I don't want this game to accidentally crash. Well, you were pretty insistent. Did I have a choice? That's one thing I've always liked about you. You seem to find the positive side of everything. Um, how nice of you to say that. So what's so important that you needed to talk to me in person? You're here because we need to talk. There's a hell of a lot more to Daniel's murder than you think. Really? Like what? And why were you listening to my call with Vincent Corsetti? There's a number of things I can tell you about him. I told you we've been keeping an eye on him, didn't I? You did, but you never said why. A man leads two lives. I think Eric is in love with us. I think every man is in love with us, honestly. Why and wouldn't they be? Life. He's a businessman, an occasional philanthropist. That's the guy that came backstage at the fashion show and was checking out houses in the neighborhood. The other life is one that not too many people know about. 
Yeah, Duchess Daffodil, I'm with you. I'm a lost defender. I think if it had been allowed to have four seasons, it would have been a really solid show. But I think they were forced to drag it out in the middle. And they did a lot of like really creative things with what they were given. Because their whole prompt was just make Survivor, but a serialized show. And they way exceeded that prompt. Way exceeded it. That's the Vincent Corsetti you really don't want to deal with. He's like a snake without the charm. That Vinny is a high-ranking member of an incredibly powerful mob family in the city. Yes, it definitely is the original sin of the mystery box. I will give you that. It has J.J. Abrams written all over it, even though he only really helped conceptualize like the pilot in a couple episodes. It has some J.J. Abrams brain rot problems. <laughs> I think that's fair to say. Your little detective work just revealed the tip of the iceberg. But it was a different time. We were all for the J.J. Abrams brain rot at the time. Do you really think he's tied into Daniel's death? Frank Fox noticed some shady dealings going on at his old office. The perps wanted to cover their tracks and hired some mob enforcers to tie up their loose ends. That's why the trail you were following led you to Vincent Corsetti. It was his thugs that killed Daniel. No! Thing is... Once Vinny got wind of the deal, he decided he wanted a bigger piece of the pie. He snapped his fingers and suddenly everyone with any knowledge of the bookkeeping errors disappeared. Frank was the last link. <gasps> My suspicion is that they killed Daniel thinking he was Frank. Yeah, that's what Frank told me as well. Not that I need to even say it, but do yourself a favor and don't get involved with Vincent again. It's not safe. What do you mean, again? Aren't you really that forgiving? Or did you just block that whole ordeal out of your memory? I really thought the Also, the cop is right up. there, just staring at all of this. But I guess that wasn't the case. What did he do to you? You lost me, Eric. You gave it back to me. Before you left town to start your life with Vincent. Uh... <laughs> huh? Shout out to Laws for writing an entire episode justifying a tattoo purely because they didn't want to keep putting makeup on Matthew Fox whenever he was shirtless. No, absolutely. First of all, the drama of what's happening on screen. But also, Vixavid, what was worse than that was there was a fat actor on the show. Hurley was the character. And they felt the need to make an entire episode justifying why Hurley was still fat while on a deserted island. So they wrote a whole plot about how there was a secret bunker full of junk food, which Hurley binged on, and that was why he was still fat. And they like made a podcast episode being like, a lot of people have been, been asking us why Hurley is still fat and it makes no sense. Why won't we just starve our actor to make him lose weight? But just you wait, everyone. We're going to fill that plot hole. <laughs> Insane. Insane. Okay, I said it was good, but I didn't say it was perfect. I didn't say it was perfect. Oh, also, Vincent is the mob guy. It was very early 2000s. It was very early 2000s, I'll say that. I couldn't offer you the lifestyle you were looking for, and so I let <laughs> you go. Also, Madison, you kind of clocked it with him being in love with us, apparently. When you called me to ask me for help, I didn't know what to do, but I offered to help you in any way I could. But when you Our didn't amnesia. Show you were supposed to, I suspected the worst. I thought you'd left us for good. I thought you were dead. For all I knew, you just dropped off the face of the earth. The music is getting so intense. When I was brought in to investigate Vincent's shady business operation, I thought I'd find you with him, but I didn't. Then I got word that he'd found someone that he was looking for. Some kind of unfinished chapter in his life. You mean me? Yes, Mary. I'm talking <gasps> Giru, you just came at a very dramatic time. We're discovering our secret life. <laughs> We're discovering our secret life right now. Looking into Vincent allowed me to find you again. But you had a new life. I didn't want to step in where I wasn't wanted. Who's Mary? But now I have to. You're getting too close to Vincent, and trust me, 
He's not the kind of person you want to get involved with. There is one thing I have to ask you, though. What's that? There's a period of time where I couldn't find any records for you, like you vanished off the face of the earth. Did Luke Epp kill us or try to kill us? Did he kidnap us? What happened to you, Mary? Mary? Who's Mary? You're Mary. Can't you even remember that? No, I... I can't. Take another look at that locket I gave you. One face should be pretty familiar to you already. Come on, it's obviously a doctored photo. You don't think I believe it, do you? We took that picture at the Wood River County Fair. Yeah, famously all brunette white women in bike shorts. Oh, we're not wearing the bike shorts. The bike shorts and argyle sweaters. We all look the same, don't we? We all look the same. That was long before you got involved with Vincent, of course. No, it, it can't be. It's us. And I know somewhere in the dark recesses of your mind, you know it to be true. We were dating a cop before? God, why? What I don't know is how you can black out on an entire section of your life. Are you sure you aren't confusing me with some other girl? Just as stubborn as ever, I see. You'll come to terms with this on your own. Believe what you want to believe. But do me one favor. Stay away from Vinnie Corsetti. You've got to trust me on that. You're in no position to tell me what to do, so don't start. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. A lot of things have happened. <laughs> a lot of things have just transpired. All right, let's do a Radio Rebel to blow off some of the steam, shall we? All right, hang on. I'm preparing. I'm preparing. All right. So are we Martha Big Venus or are we Mary? <laughs> are we Mary? <laughs> yes, the FIB is not a typo. That's an intentional. <laughs> That's an intentional acronym in this game, I guess. So they don't get sued? Who knows? Who knows? I hope Bort... Well, do I hope Bort is, not, is our son? He was kind of saying some crazy stuff earlier. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't hope that. Uh, Vincent has mob ties. Oh, we should tell Frank. They're gonna kill Frank. Are they not? Hello? Good news, Frank. I think I figured it all out. He's dead. Yeah, me too. How's that? I've been going over everything I know about Daniel's murder. And I need to talk to you. Frank, you're talking to me right now. In person. Meet me downtown. ASAP. Frank... Where are you? I'm on my way now. If you leave right now, we should get there at the same time. Bye. Frank! Frank! Oh, God. Hello, neighbor. Hey, Bree. Just a reminder that we're still expecting you to join us this evening. I'm busy. You really want me to come by for your gr little grievance party, don't you? Well, it is the proper thing to do, isn't it? It's times like these where we all have to stick together. Bree? Appetizers will be served in 10 minutes. Don't be late. I'll be... I'm sorry, Bree, but crying my eyes out intermitt while intermittently stuffing my face with mushroom tarts doesn't really sound like a load of fun. Have fun with your little party. Bye. <laughs> we, have, we have more thing, important things to do than play poker right now. Can we just be so serious for right, right this second? The poker can wait. I do kind of want a mushroom tart. If I'm being so serious. I do love, I do love some mushroom. Something about the way that he walks, I feel very spiritually connected to. 
Let me seduce? Oh, no seduce. Oh, that's a bummer. Isn't that a bummer? Yeah, I I guess Frank I wasn't in jail? Made it. Yeah, I made it. So, now that you're here, we need to talk. Sure, this is everything I know. Lore, 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 lore. Mike was at Susan's on the night of the murder. Carlos Solis was in his home. My son and his date, Daniel, saw someone flirting with a car in front of the Scavo home. At first, I thought it was Lynette, but then I talked to her and she said it was actually Gabby that Bort saw. When I returned to verify with her, she told me that she'd given directions to a strangers in a car. And as it turns out, those strangers were looking for directions to your house. They were the ones that killed Daniel. What's more important, those assailants have definite ties to Vincent Corsetti. He's our man. <gasps> oh my god. We couldn't have just said we explained the situation. <laughs> yeah, for anyone who hasn't been here early in the stream, that's basically what we've been up to. <laughs> up to this point. So tell me, what's so important that we couldn't talk on the phone? Whatever. We're here now. We'll talk now. So... I've been piecing together the evidence. There was a lot going on the night Daniel died. Yeah, we know. We know. The Solises, the Scavos, the Vandy Camps, even your son was out that night. And don't forget Mike. One thing we know for certain is that two people were up to committing murder. <gasps> My God. <laughs> oh God, no. Yeah, we know this. He's mansplaining the murder to us right now. Absolutely. That's still not where he died. I don't know why they keep doing this. Right, Leo. We've got his number. Literally. Sure, we have some evidence, but we're not done yet. What do you mean? Why don't we just go to the cops and tell them everything we know? No, we can't do that. We don't know what could happen. Come on, Frakes. Come on, Frank. The cops around here might not be the sharpest knives in the drawer, but they're honest. No, we're not saying that. Yes, we do. They'd arrest the people responsible. What's there to think about? You don't realize how deep this goes. I thought I could get away from them. I thought if I moved and kept to myself, they'd never find me. I mean, I couldn't even find Fairview on a map. How the hell did they find me? Apparently, that fashion show got some major press because of your brother's involvement. Not the fashion show <laughs> being the cause of his death. Poor Daniel. He was just trying to do some good for Fairview. And look what happened. I know. It's all my fault. I should have told him. There's nothing you can do about it. Now your job is to help me figure out how to get the guilty party in jail where they belong. I think now's the time we do something. But I don't know Let's get a gun. Get a gun. There's still one thing that's bothering me. How did that Leo guy know Vincent Corsetti of all people? It doesn't add up. Yes, it does. You've been holding out on me? Your friend Eric had some interesting facts right before I met up with you. Vincent Corsetti doesn't have ties to the mob. He is the mob. Over the years, he's ascended to the head of the family. He's untouchable. Eric and his department in the FIB have been trying to build a case for a while, but haven't been able to. It was convenient timing when he showed up, wasn't it? Just when things started to get fishy. It wasn't a coincidence, Frank. All right, then. It's up to me to make the next move. Great. What's the plan? We'll find out soon enough. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's about to happen? Most people's lives are driven by fear. Fear of hidden dangers. <laughs> it was the kids. I wish. I wish. Fear of secrets being discovered. <gasps> or fear of the unknown. What's Luke up doing? But sometimes... What we think may be a demon lurking in the shadows turns out to be merely our guardian angel in disguise. Um, where does Gabrielle do her laundry, laundry when she's too poor to pay her plumbing bill? There are people who spend a oh god, Bort, earning the respect and admiration of their peers and neighbors. Oh god, kids. 
Let them go. Pu'er? It's the correct way to say Pu'er. When one's decency is called into question. Daniel, oh my god. Is Bort slut shaming women? I believe you would get away with this? Is Bort out here slut shaming? Get away with what? Bort! I mean, I guess I couldn't. Honestly, we're kind of a bad parent, so I wouldn't be totally surprised if he did that. Don't play games with me, young man. You know exactly what I mean. Uh, no, I don't. Mom, can you help me out here? Oh no, what did he do now? Why do you always assume that I'm guilty? These flyers, full of vicious slander, have been appearing all over the neighborhood. It does seem like something Bort would do. Or Luke Epp. Either of them. Take a deep breath, Bree. Now tell me, do you have one of the flyers with yes, you? I have one right here. See for yourself. Danielle is easy. Why do you think Bort would do this? It's obvious he's trying to get revenge on our family. Poor delusional boy thought he was good enough for my Danielle. Uh huh. Danielle thinks Julie made those flyers and started spreading rumors about her at school. As soon as Julie told me, I came over here. Mm -hmm. We may not agree who the culprit is, but we both agree that this whole issue started because of your son's actions. I'm just here for moral support for my two favorite girls. Oh, fuck off, Carl. Everyone's dancing around the subject, but the one thing we know fuck is that off, Carl. your son has ruined our girls' lives. Whoa, 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 let's all calm down here. Don't you dare tell me to calm down. Yeah, you can see the flies coming out of this man's brain. He's not to be trusted. I'll calm down if you teach your damn son some manners. Who are you? Yeah. All right, fine. I'll look into the flyers, and once I prove my son didn't make them, I'll make sure he settles things with your girls. That sounds reasonable. Works for me. Yes, I suppose that will suffice. If your son is innocent. Who are you? There you are. Who? What? What now? Your son has been sending me some terrible emails. Bort! Honestly... Honestly, again, I wouldn't put it past Bort. Let's just say they involve a lot of derogatory terms. Not the kind of words you find on the SATs. <laughs> um... There you go. What more proof do you need that your son is a little criminal? You can't be serious. I certainly can. Makes me wonder about your child-rearing skills. <laughs> The apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Honestly, she's not wrong. But, like the way you control your children, you seem to be so successful in raising little sociopaths. How dare you? I don't need to stand here and take this abuse. I'm going to get to the bottom of this myself. <laughs> the toxic boymon energy is rife in this conversation. <laughs> wow, that was really harsh. I was going to say I'm going to get out of here before this thing gets ugly, but it's too late. Come on, Carl. Come on, Carl. Sure thing, Suzy Q. <laughs> Where has Carl been this whole game, and why haven't I slept with him yet? You better leave too, Allison, so I can take care of my son. Okay. Just keep in mind, they were very nasty little emails. If he did this, something has to be done. Thanks for getting rid of them, Mom. Get inside. Oh, don't thank me just yet. I still haven't decided if I really believe you're innocent. He Susan ex he Susan's ex husband. Okay, I vaguely remember her having an ex husband. He's the one who cheated a bunch. He's the one who cheated a bunch. Well, let's get in there. Her emails. Lock her up. Lock him up. Let's talk about Bort's damn emails. He's got a second phone with all of his emails. Wait, where'd he go? He's on the run. Officer, he's on the run. All right, Luke Epp, get out of the way. I'm trying to parent hey, here. This is Vincent. Oh, God, I disappeared. Hello, Vinny. What can I do for you? I was just calling to check in on you. Oh, well, I'm invisible right now, but how are you? To be honest, things couldn't be worse. I can't see myself, and this entire morning has been a train wreck. Really? Is there anything I can do? You know, I've had some experience with this kind of thing. No thanks, Vinny. I can handle this on my own. Everybody wants a piece of this. 
Everybody wants a piece of this. And how are things between you and your husband? You know, same as always. A few bumps here and there, but we're okay. I hate to ask, but I heard some stories. About some greedy secretary that was trying to blackmail him or something. Not the greedy lesbian secretary again. We've gotten past that. Did you ever find out what was in his safe? Listen, I'm not feeling comfortable with this line of questioning, Vincent. You want to tell me what's going on? I happen to know there is some very important information in that safe. Things you need to see. Have you been checking up on me as well? Listen, we shouldn't talk about this over the phone. I'm sending a package over to your house later. I hope he can sleep with Vinny. Make sure your husband's not around when you open it. I have to go now, but rest assured I have your best interests at heart. I gotta go. I mean, he kind of seems great, no? Kind of seems like he could provide for us. It kind of seems like Luke Epp kidnapped us at this point, you know? I'm innocent. Oops, I hit the microphone. I know, dear. Thanks for believing me, Mom. Of course. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Daniel is what? Son is being blamed. You must find a way to prove his innocence. Since Daniel was the victim, you should find out what she has to say. Uh, now that you have the flyer, it's time to do a little detective work. Let's see. Do we have it in here? Look. We got a missing- a lost dog poster. Someone steal a dog? Okay. Inbox invasion. Allison, Allison has accused your son of sending her malicious email. Is your son really a lecherous pervert? You must investigate this and find some way of proving your son's innocence. You may not know how to prove your son didn't write those emails, but you do know who to ask. Frank Fox would be the best person to figure out where those emails really came from. Give Frank a call to see if he knows a way to get your son out of this jam. Dog's best friend. Uh, missing flyer. Talk to the dog owner in the neighborhood, Mike Delfino, to see what he has to say about this. Uh, so only one person in this whole rich neighborhood has a dog? Red flag. Uh, red flag. Okay, well, let's call Frank, I guess. Thought he was in jail, but you it's fine. Voicemail box for Frank Fox. Please leave your message at. What the heck? Okay, well, I guess I won't call Frank. Okay, well, then I guess I won't. Yes, I do believe this is the dog the old lady wanted us to kill. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Uh, Danielle. Let's go talk to Danielle. Only one dog remains. Danielle, get your butt over here. Get your butt over here. And let me... We need to find out if Danielle's really easy. How are you holding up with this whole flyer issue? Flyer issue? This isn't an issue. This is about some jerk I don't know telling everyone in this town that I'm easy. Something about her proportions. I know she's a teenager, but she's also not a real teenager. Something about her proportions really scares me. Like, it feels like her head is bigger than her body. No? And it, it unsettles me. Actually, I had a few questions for you about those flyers, Danielle. What? You want to know how to get one with your name printed on it? I've heard stories about you, you know. Danielle! Honestly, drag me. I have slept with the entire neighborhood. I have slept with the entire neighborhood. If I'm being so serious right now. Do you have any thoughts on who would send out these flyers? Yeah, I have a strong suspicion. It was Julie Mayer. John Mayer? That doesn't sound like the Julie I know. I can't imagine she would act like that. Can you? Like I know what's going on in that little nerdy brain of hers. Oh. She's probably still pissed that your son stood her up. For me. <laughs> Our son gets around. Good for him. You really yeah. think Julie did this? I heard that she was calling all the guys at school and telling them I slept with your son. So it's definitely her. No one would sleep with my son, surely. What else could it be? It certainly wasn't your son. Not that I wouldn't have minded, but he never got anywhere with me. My mom made sure of that. Okay, gross. I didn't need to know that. 
Didn't need to know that. I'm still pretty pissed off at your son, though. Why are you still upset with my son? He should be defending me. He hasn't said or done anything to tell people it wasn't me. Well, maybe if the rumor wasn't so close to the truth, you'd have some ammunition to defend yourself. How dare you say that? You know what? I'm done talking with you. <laughs> That's fair. That's so valid. <laughs> That's so valid. Um, well, we're doing well. Look how happy we are. That conversation went great for us. <laughs> uh, okay, we need to get a writing sample, I guess, from our son. Anyways. Anyways. We're real bullies. We're real bullies. Writing sample. Do we ask him for it? Son, please write something on your slim fast Optima so I can analyze it later. Mom, I told you, I'm innocent. I was able to get a closer look at one of those flyers. Now you believe I didn't write it? Yeah, I'm convinced now. The handwriting on the flyers is much too neat to be your chicken scratchings. You must have inherited that from your father. You know doctors. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Well, who do you think wrote it then? I don't know, but we need to prove your innocence to everyone else, so I'm going to need something from you. Sure, Mom. Anything. I need a sample of your handwriting with the same message. You want me to write, Danielle is easy? Is this a trick? Don't be stupid. I'm going to prove you're innocent. All right. If you think it's best, here you go. Thanks, honey. All right, we're on the move. We are on the move. For a moment. All right, should we go talk to Mike next? About the dog. With the dog. Why would I walk when I can fast travel every time, honestly? Can we see the dog? Did they put the dog in this game? Are the doors obscenely can wide? I something? Or am I just incredibly skinty? That's the question. Do you know how these lost dog posters were vandalized? Yeah, I saw that earlier. I just can't believe someone would do that. Honestly, I don't really care about whatever's going on with the Vandy camps. But for someone to do this kind of vicious thing... I think the right thing to do is put up flyers saying that Danielle is a virgin. Yeah, we need a good counter-narrative out on the streets. And destroy flyers put up by some poor soul looking for their lost dog. It just makes me mad. I hear ya. It makes me lose faith in people. Yeah, it really is tragic. Do you have any idea who would do this? Sure, I have my suspicions, but I can't really imagine that they'd do this. Come on, Mike, tell me who you think it is. Well, I hate to say it, but do you think it could be Mrs. Davenport? Oh, not the old lady. I heard her making some obnoxious comments about Danielle's social life. Uh, honestly, she would. That does sound correct. And now that I think about it, vandalizing missing animal flyers sounds right up her alley. Huh? The woman's nuts. Every time I walk past her house, she gives Bongo the evil eye. Yeah. Not just Bongo. Cats, dogs, rabbits, even... Sounds squirrels. about right. She freaks out at the sight of them. If anything seems like a threat to her precious garden, she takes it personally. Come to think of it. I haven't seen too many of those animals around recently. Is she killing them? What do you mean? Probably nothing. You know what they say about animals and their instincts. They're probably smart enough to stay away from her. I mean, come on. She's just a cranky old lady. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Sure, I mean, chipmunks are kind of smart. Thank you. You've been very helpful, Mike. I need all the ammunition, ammunition I can get to vindicate my son. Have a See good you. day. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, why do I have to garden? Why is that my responsibility? All right, I guess we have to garden. I guess we have to care about the strange bugs in our garden right now. All right. Fine. Oh God.
No! Oh god. Nothing can save us. I have to talk to Miss Davenport. Danielle believes Julie may be behind it. All right, let's get Julie to write. Danielle is easy. We're doing some investigative work right now. Oh, it's you. What do you want? You might want to lose the attitude, Julie. I'm your elder and deserve some respect. I wouldn't have attitude, except for your son. I don't understand. What did Bort do to you? Well, because your son was putting those flyers around, Danielle is convinced I did it. And now she hates me. So now she's spreading that around school. Everyone thinks I'm some kind of psychotic skank. Yeah, I think, was it Vixavid who said that the shorter characters are proportioned weird? <laughs> they do seem like they were not shrunk into scale correctly. And her hair looks crazy from this angle. The worst thing but is I kind of love it. I didn't do it. I've been ripping down the flyers whenever I see them. I still feel bad for Danielle, even if she's gone all psycho on me. Funny you should say that, since my son says the same thing. We're so toxic. We're so toxic. Wait, he didn't do it? Of course not. I raised him better than that. What? Are you accusing me now? Yes. Well, for your information, I'm innocent. And if you think I would actually be capable of something like that, then I'm done talking with you. I'm sorry, Julie. I didn't mean to offend. There was actually something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, really? Is there another subject you'd like to harass me about? Actually, I'm collecting statements from everyone about Daniel Fox. I want to put together a book of how the residents of Wisteria Lane were affected by Daniel's life. Each person will write something in their own handwriting, so the book will have a really personal touch. Oh my gosh, are we using Daniel's death to manipulate this child into giving us a writing sample? I really didn't know Mr. Fox all that well. I wouldn't know what to write. Don't worry, sweetie, I'll dictate. You just write it down with your cute little circles over the eyes and little hearts for periods. That doesn't make sense. Shouldn't this be like a personal message or something? I think the fact that you're willing to write any message is personal enough. Sounds a little weird to me, but okay. What should I write? I'll start with something like, Daniel led a fashion show that brought the neighborhood together. Then something like, the neighborhood is darker place without him. Then you can conclude with something like, it will not be Easy to go on without Daniel Fox. This gay man did not die for this. This gay man did not die for this. Wow, I didn't realize you cared about Daniel so much. It's so sweet of you to do this in his memory. I can't. I, I can't. Here's my message to add to your book. Thank you very much, Julie. You have no idea how much I appreciate your help. <laughs> oh god. We can't help her. We can't help her. If we call Frank now, will he answer us? I really don't want to talk to Miss Davenport yet. I really don't. Reach the voicemail box for Frank. Ugh. Ugh. Well, let's go talk to him in person, I suppose. I'm desperate. Desperate housewife. Can I help you? Yes, Frank. I need your help with the computer issue. Sure. What do you want? Bort is being accused of sending some rude emails to Allison. Is there any way to find out where the emails are coming from? Well, if you have access to Allison's account... You could send me the emails, I could trace its original IP address back for you. Or if you had access to your son's account, you could check his bandwidth for local activity. Let's just say I had trouble doing all of that. Is there something else I can do? Are you sure your son didn't do it? Of course. Well, if he's innocent, then someone would have to have had access to his account. 
No one around here has the technical expertise to hack into his account. Except for you, Frank. So whoever sent the emails must know your son's password. Did did Luke Epp do it? Talk to him and find out if he's given his password to any friends. Thanks, Frank. It was Luke Epp. It was Luke Epp. Okay, well, I think I can... From what I remember about this game, I think we're actually, like, not super close to the end. I think we have, like, two hours left of the game. So I think I'm gonna stop there just so that we have enough for a full stream next week. I know it's sort of an awkward cliffhanger. Did our son write some sexually harassing emails? I'll never tell. I'll never tell. I know this is a long game. It's going to be what? Five parts? And I'm enjoying every second of it. Every second of it. And soon enough, we're going to be making a banana meatloaf. This game is giving us content. I also wish there was a semi-homemade game. That game would have thrived on the Wii. That game was made for the Wii. And history passed it by. I don't know what happened there. All right, folks. Um, so I'm going to end it a little early for tonight. Just so, like I said, we have enough for next week. I really don't want to talk to Miss Davenport today. You got me. <laughs> you got me. Uh, tomorrow, I think we're just going to do some Stardew as usual. And then Thursday, we're hopefully going to be wrapping up uh, Nancy in a French castle in Wisconsin. It'll be a good time. <laughs> but thanks for hanging out with me today, everyone. I had a good time. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.